One of the problems with rehabilitation is that we have been doing the same things for years and years. The constructs remain the same. If you have an injury, you use that extremity to try and make it stronger. We've been very limited in what we can do in that regard. I think TMS offers us a new way of treating people with brain injuries and strokes and central nervous and spinal cord disease uh, to help make their bodies stronger. It is the latest and I think for the near future, uh, it's the newest thing on the horizon and I think it has the best opportunity to really make a change in people's lives. Transcranial Magnetic Stimulation, or TMS, is a safe, painless, and precise way of stimulating the brain. This non-invasive technique can provide insight into the brain's ability to send messages to the body and can help improve the brain's ability to send these messages after an injury. Individuals who have suffered a stroke or traumatic brain injury may benefit from TMS. The TMS coil produces a magnetic field similar to an MRI machine, and when this magnetic field is applied to an area of the brain, the activity in that area can be altered. Inducing these changes in the brain activity can help the brain's messages reach their intended destinations throughout the body. For example, stimulating the hand muscle area of the brain can help the brain communicate with those muscles. This can help the individual gain strength and control in the hand that may have been diminished after a brain injury. Repetitive TMS, or RTMS, uses multiple stimulations to induce lasting changes in brain activity. After each stimulation session, the brain activity will remain elevated for about 90 minutes enough time for the individual to receive therapy for the impaired muscles. The RTMS allows the individual to make larger strides towards improvement during therapy because of the increased brain activity. The TMS process starts with an MRI. A high-resolution image is taken of the patient's brain and loaded into the TMS system. With this image, the approximate area of interest in the brain can be located. Single stimulations are used to fine-tune this area based on the response seen in the muscle after each stimulation. The stimulation point that elicits the largest response in the muscle is deemed the hot spot and is saved to be the target of repetitive TMS. For the rehabilitation of muscle control, RTMS is applied immediately before physical therapy. The effects of RTMS will be present while the patient engages in this therapy tasks. For the rehabilitation of muscle control, RTMS is applied immediately before physical therapy. The lasting effects of RTMS will aid the patient's ability to complete the therapy. This enhanced therapy may yield greater gains than the standard therapy alone, and the rehabilitation of this muscle function will remain after the effects of the RTMS have diminished. Repetitive TMS is applied daily, generally for two weeks. The stimulations last no more than 20 minutes and require very little effort from the patient. The application of repetitive TMS is a novel and promising addition to traditional rehabilitative therapy for the brain-injured population. The muscle impairments following a brain injury can greatly decrease an individual's quality of life and even strip them of their independence entirely. Repetitive TMS has been shown to help improve muscle control years after an injury, helping brain injury survivors leave their wheelchair behind or use their hand in ways they thought were lost forever. Individuals with incomplete spinal cord injuries may also benefit from physical therapy coupled with this stimulation. The boundaries of this rehabilitative tool are yet to be determined. Transcranial magnetic stimulation is a useful diagnostic tool and has great potential for aiding rehabilitation after a brain injury. TMS is still in a research phase, but it has a bright future in the clinical setting. 